Doug was, then so was every rapper. And so was every every Italian movie star who played a gangster. And every, everybody who can play the role of a thug had a thug for a friend. And I just hope that there's something we can do not to let the feds put this man in jail who's done so much for his community and lifting his community up. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he's, you know, also even some of the stuff out their mouth, some stories from the hood that they, that they tell because they're exciting to you and they could never, and it was exciting, like, wow, we almost did, and you didn't do it yourself. Your friends did. And you may be aware of it. You didn't promote it, you didn't create it. And I'm saying that every artist, not just them, I keep saying over and over again. So did every artist go to jail? But having been grown up in, I couldn't stop liking some people passed away. Gusto, and chopped his head off his brother. Anyway, these rap lyrics. If De Niro said something in Goodfellas, are you gonna use it against him because his friends is gangsters? That's what they do to our artists. Mm -hmm. And I think that our community should stop acting like they accept it. We keep acting like we accept so much shit. It's unbelievable. We accept that the Black Lives Matter girl bought a house. Uh, <clears throat> when you have $100 million, you buy a house under the name of Black Lives Matter, owned by Black Lives Matter, that you can have retreats and podcasts, 20 parking spaces, and, and, and all the artists can have, not the artists, the um, activists can have offices. Every church owns equity. So they destroy Black Lives Matter. We keep getting destroyed. We have no media. Can't count on. I would hope that Shade Room would magnify our reality because they're the biggest media we got. 400 black newspapers could print something and they wouldn't even look to see if it was true. And we have, you know, the LA Sentinel and Washington 